Good Friday morning. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Joar is determining the fate of a man accused of his part in a 2005 double murder in Kingsport will resume deliberations later this morning. The jury told the judge yesterday they were tired. Juwan Massey is charged in connection with the execution-style killings of Jeffrey Nolan and Terrence Alexander at the Soleil Candle Shop. If convicted, Massey faces up to life in prison. New president and CEO has been named to head up the Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia Chamber of Commerce. Prior to accepting the position in Bristol, Joy Madison served in the same capacity at the Modesto, California Chamber of Commerce. She will begin her new duties next week, replacing Lisa Meadows, who left earlier this year. State Senate Speaker Ron Ramsey's top aide has been recommended for an official role at next week's Republican National Convention in Tampa, Florida. Lance Frizzell, who serves as the Bluntville Republicans' chief of staff, has been selected as one of ten tally clerks working at the Tampa, Florida event to crown former Governor Mitt Romney and U.S. Representative Paul Ryan, the GOP presidential and vice presidential nominees. Sullivan County authorities have arrested a Bristol man after he allegedly broke into a home and assaulted his former spouse. 39-year-old Benny O'Dale Rush is charged with aggravated domestic assault and vandalism. Sheriff spokeswoman Leslie Earhart says the man's accused of showing up at the home on Sandbar Road. He kicked the front door in and began hitting and punching his estranged wife, causing severe injuries to her face and her eye. Rush was located a short time later on Knob Park Road in Bristol. Nearly 40-year-old Washington County, Tennessee farm could soon be a turn, or soon turned into a haven for homeless veterans. The first Tennessee Human Resource Agency had leased that 50-acre farm near Jonesboro with the intent of turning it into an adult daycare, but those plans fell through. Now the organization is turning the property over to the Johnson City Housing Authority, which is looking to use the facility to possibly house homeless veterans. Scott County, Virginia grand juries indicted two Bristol, Tennessee men in connection with the Christmas Day murder. 60-year-old Charlie Ramey and 36-year-old Daniel Norris are charged with first-degree murder in the 2011 shooting death of Gregory Hale. Prosecutors claim robbery and drug activity are the alleged motives behind Hale's death. Retail gas prices have jumped again in the Tri-Cities and across the nation as last-minute travelers close out the summer driving season. The national average for regular gasoline is eight cents more than a year ago. John Filmy, chief economist for the American Petroleum Institute, attributes the higher prices at the pumps to several reasons. It's been driven by the cost of producing gasoline. Crude oil prices, depending on the crude, are up by 40 to 60 cents a gallon. Ethanol costs are up, uh, you know, they're up about 60 cents a gallon, and since you blended it about 10 percent, that's additional cost. Although prices are projected to increase through August, retail prices should drop after the Labor Day holiday. CNN Money has ranked Johnson City the top 25 places in the nation where homes are most affordable. The city ranked 23rd with a median home price of 126000 and a median family income of 56000 This news comes just after Johnson City was also ranked 14th in Forbes magazine's list of the best small places for business and careers. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Friday.